Hey, what's up guys? I am Christian and this is my first review coming off of my reviews that I've done for the New 52 month one of DC. And uh, I've actually come to realize this that I pick up a lot of books every week and there is just really no way for me <laughs> to, to get to reviewing all of them, especially with how things are for me right now. I've, I've been very, very busy with just everything that it, it's even hard for me to find time to actually get through these books as much as I'd want to uh, with work and everything else. But um, I, I'm going to be doing some mostly written reviews from now on. Uh, however, I will be doing my pick of the week review and uh, this is going to be going up every Wednesday try to get into a a, a certain schedule uh, so th the book that I'm going to be reviewing is going to be the pick of the week for the previous Wednesday just so everybody knows um, and this week we have my pick for October fifth, which was the first week of October, and my pick of the week would have to be Swamp Thing number two, written by Scott Snyder, and art by Nick Paquette. Now, in these reviews there might be spoilers, there might not be spoilers, uh, but um, yeah, if you don't want to be spoiled, I would really recommend you pick up the issue, read it first. Uh, and then come back to this, or if you don't mind, just enjoy what you get, and uh, let's just jump right into this. This is Scott Snyder's Swamp Thing. I've never read any previous incarnation of Swamp Thing. I've never read the Tony Moore Swamp Thing, or anyone else's Swamp Thing, for that, for that matter. Um, and I never thought I could actually get into the character of Swamp, Swamp Thing and actually enjoy a Swamp Thing book. Uh, but being Scott Snyder, I decided to really give it a try. And uh, he really loves the character of Swamp Thing. He's said it a million times in interviews, and I, I really believe that through his work and through his words. And uh, this is a really, really fun, fun, good book. Uh, first off, this is a very wordy book. This is just 13, and there's a lot of dialogue. And I am not complaining about that. This is a 309 book, and it really gives you uh, the bang for your buck. So, uh, some people might complain that it's too wordy. I don't see how that could be a bad thing, especially when the writing is just so good and the dialogue is just so well written. Um, so here we have, the book opens up with a story about a pilot on the day that, that, that he died. And let me just say that your next request, art is just amazing. Uh, the way his panels break is actually, are actually twigs and little details like that just make the book so beautiful and uh, his pencils are amazing. Um, and uh, oh yeah, so the story it starts off with the pilot who tells the story of how he dies and when he dies he falls into the green into a swamp and he becomes a swamp thing. Um, so right off the bat, we see that Alex Holland wasn't the only person transformed into Swamp Thing. There have been previous Swamp Things before him. And um, here we get, we, we, we get that little story and we get Alex Holland actually talking to that particular Swamp Thing. And uh, he, he's being told exactly why Alex Holland has been chosen to do what he has to do. And, but 
Alex just wants to be left alone for obvious reasons. He he has these memories of a past life of a, of being a something that he has no idea what what it means or he has no idea why he he has these memories. And again, he just wants to be left alone. He has really nothing to do with this, but obviously he has to get involved. And um, this is just so, so good. Um, and there have been some really, really good things put out by DC and both by Marvel also in the past week. So this had to be especially good uh, for me to pick it as my pick of the week. And not just because it was Scott Snyder writing it, but um, this was well written. Uh, again, I enjoyed every single line of dialogue. No line is wasted in, in, in this book. It just feels like, like he really loves the character. And he really is digging into the mythology. And again, we get another mention of the red, which uh, crosses over into Jeff Lemire's Animal Man, which we will see a crossover sometime in the future. Um, so yeah, <laughs> again, there, there's some really good horror also to this book. There's some really creepy things that we see. For example, the very last panel here, the spear. People with their heads twisted on backwards, and it, 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 it's just really good writing, really good uh, art. The, the the panel structures are just really something that stand out a lot in this in this book. And uh, then we get a, a little twist at the end. I'm not gonna spoil that much. Uh, I, I, I definitely want people to pick this up. Uh, if you're not a Swamp Thing fan, this will turn you into a Swamp Thing fan. Scott Snyder knows what he's doing, and I just, I can't wait for the next issue. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's really nothing bad to say about this book. Uh, so, definitely pick it up, and this, this, it really, dig into to this, this, it might be a bit wordy, uh, but every line of dialogue counts, every panel counts, every panel is, is beautiful, and um, I really, really am looking forward to see what's to come in the future of Swamp Thing, and that's coming from someone that um, was never really a fan of, of Swamp Thing, so uh, good job, Scott <laughs> Snyder. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and if you'd like, you can also follow me on Twitter, uh, Facebook, Tumblr, I'll post all that in the little thingy below, and again, you can subscribe, and thanks for watching, and for more information on written reviews that are going to be coming up in the next month or so, uh, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to be posting it, either at Comic Vine or just on Tumblr or iFanboy or something like that, but uh, I'll keep people posted if you're interested, let me know, and thanks for watching, really.